Today I will be reviewing the London Uber boat. This is a boat that operates in the rivers of London. The main competitor is obviously the London Underground. It goes a lot faster. I'm going to get right to the chase. The London Underground is a lot better. So, the Uber boat's timetables are pretty bad. I had to wait about an hour for the boat. So, if you're thinking about this instead of the London Underground, I'd recommend taking the Underground instead of this, unless you're just here to experience the river or just film a video like I am. The boats have been operating since May 1999 and as of 2020 have been rebranded to Uber. One hour later, my boat is arriving. All of them have different names. There was the Mercury Clipper. This one is the Typhoon Clipper. I'm going from London Bridge City to Greenwich and there's something at the end which made me want to go to Greenwich. So make sure to stay until the end to see that. There are two areas to sit, outside at the back of the boat or inside. There are also some handy toilets available near the back of the boat. We are now approaching Tower Bridge. This is a bridge in London that goes under the River Thames. It took eight years to build and open to the public in 1894. Now checking out the seat, it's reasonably padded and there's a decent amount of space to sit. The legroom is okay, it's not amazing but it's decent and overall it's a pretty good seat when it comes to things. There are some metal non-removable armrests and a floppy table to put some drinks and food on. As well as a little section down there for storing other stuff. The boat is quite crowded, this varies a lot on the time of day or the time of year, but my experience wasn't great in terms of space and places to sit. And get some things to eat on the journey which is definitely recommended because it takes a while to get to places. There are different drinks and snacks and different foods, different stuff like that. Now we are finally disembarking on our journey. The time took about 30 minutes in total of actually on the boat, but took about almost two hours in total. So it's definitely an extremely long experience. I don't recommend going if you're trying to find the quickest way to somewhere. Now at the end location, there's this place called Greenwich. This is where they filmed season one of Race Across the World, available on BBC iPlayer. It's a really good series where people race across the world and I highly recommend checking it out if you do have BBC iPlayer. I'm thinking about making more vlog-like content so if you're interested in that please leave a comment talking about your thoughts and opinions.